Dwayne Johnson is one of the most electrifying and successful social media personalities of our time. But how did this guy go from being our favorite WWE superstar to a social media supernova? Dwayne Johnson, son of legendary professional wrestler Rocky Johnson, started his journey in the world of football. His career was overshadowed by his future Hall of Fame teammates, Warren Sapp and Ray Lewis. After graduating due to injuries, he joined the CFL as a practice squad player for the Calgary Stampeders. Then something happened that changed the direction of his stardom forever. You see, in 1995, The Rock was cut from the Canadian Football League. He then decided to try his hand at the family business, professional wrestling. Following in the footsteps of his father and his legendary grandfather, High Chief Peter Mayavia, Rocky Mayavia was born. Within nine months, Rocky Mayavia became The Rock, a charismatic, brass-talking, eyebrow-raising, attention-grabbing version of himself with the volume turned away up. He became insanely popular. Believe me, I was there. Yo, 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 I got 50 Bentleys in the West Indies. It doesn't matter. That was a real song, by the way. Jeez. Get some water. By the time he was asked to host SNL in the year 2000, Hollywood was begging for a piece of the great one. What followed were a string of movies that transitioned The Rock from being an iconic wrestler to becoming an iconic brand. Joining Instagram in 2013 to 1.5 million subscribers, this post on Instagram represents one of The Rock's biggest social media growth strategies. Leveraging his existing reach, the Rock uses the audience he has to get the audience he wants. He often partners with companies and influencers that have their own large or highly committed followings, which allows him to tap into their audiences and expand his reach even further. When he partnered with Under Armour to launch his own line of workout gear, he used his social media accounts to promote the collaboration and encourage his followers to check out all of the new products. His post announcing the collaboration with Under Armour garnered over 1.5 million likes and 13,000 comments. The PR1 shoe sold out in just 30 minutes when it was launched, and his sweat-resistant headphones sold out within 72 hours. Whether it's perspiration or inspiration, The Rock always manages to align his brand with his passions. He's a family man, fitness enthusiast, a tequila connoisseur, and he often shares content that reflects those high values. In 2020, he launched his own brand of tequila called Terramana, which means spirit of the earth in his mother's native tongue. In promoting the brand on social media, he often shares his own personal stories and experiences with tequila, highlighting his passion for the drink and his desire to create a high quality product. With hashtag Terramana Tuesday, he encouraged fans to share photos and videos of themselves enjoying the tequila on social media using the hashtag Terramana Tuesday. Note that followers can't actually participate in this campaign without buying the product first. Genius. Strategy three, integrating across mediums. The Rock uses his social media platforms to promote his movies, TV shows, and products, all with the same messaging. It's all like this big interconnected web with content and platforms just feeding each other. By leveraging multiple platforms and mediums, The Rock has been able to expand his reach and build a comprehensive personal brand that extends beyond just social media. My man launched a fitness app called The Rock Clock. It allows users to set goals and wake up each and every morning to a motivational message from The Rock himself. I know, I know, at this point, you're probably watching this video right now, thinking to yourself, But Tori, The Rock is a bajillionaire. He has so many followers. He has so much support. He's a movie star. He was a superstar wrestler. How am I gonna build a presence online like he does? Speaking honestly, that's what's so amazing here. These three strategies are so universal that even the smallest brands can learn from them. Don't let the audience you want keep you from utilizing the audience you have. The Rock is masterful at sharing content with his audience that makes them feel included, from behind the scenes clips to project announcements. Capitalize on your existing reach by sharing your accomplishments, upcoming projects, and collaborations on all your social media channels. Do not be shy here. Collaborate with others to expand your audience. This strategy isn't just for movie stars. You can learn from this approach by collaborating with brands and influencers who share your interests and values, which can help you reach a much wider audience. The Rock shares content and chooses collaborations related to his passions. To share content that reflects your passions and values, you have to identify what they are. Start by looking deep into your mission statement and finding out why your brand exists. What problems are you trying to solve? Understanding your brand's purpose can serve as inspiration. 
Once you know those passions, create a ton of content around them whether it's photos, behind the scenes videos, or just written posts. Oh, be sure to use hashtags related to your passions to once again, reach a much wider audience. Diversify your online presence and connect your content across platforms. The Great One promotes his projects on different platforms, creating an interconnected web of content. To make the most of your online presence, engage your audience on multiple platforms. Don't be afraid. The Rock's social media success can at least partly be attributed to his ability to leverage his existing reach, align his brand with his passions, and integrate across mediums. While you may not have millions, and millions of followers like The Rock, these universal strategies can help you grow your own online presence and build an engaged audience that starts to support your brand. Until next time, bye-bye. I can't find this client info. Have you heard of HubSpot? HubSpot is a CRM platform, so it shares its data across every application. Every team can stay aligned. No out-of-sync spreadsheets or dueling databases. HubSpot, grow better.